Debbie and I'm going to work on a new painting and I am going to repaint uh, this painting that it was a, a poured one and I didn't like it when it got done and then I kind of painted it on top and I still um, didn't like it so so now it's going in for the third painting on this one so we're going to see how this turns out. Hopefully this will be the third time will be the charm. <laughs> Anyways, also, I was going to um, use my paints in uh, like a rainbow order. So I'm going to kind of thinly put a little layer on, try to make it thin, and then um, kind of go as if it were in a rainbow until my cup is full enough for the the uh, canvas so that's the plan so we'll see how that turns out anyways um if you have any questions feel free to ask them down on down in the comments and and if i can answer them i sure will and i'm gonna bring you down okay guys um so i think i am going to start with pinks since there's one sitting right here <laughs> we'll start with a thin layer of pink and just cover the bottom of the cup just kind of cover that and maybe a little more try to make sure I have enough in there <laughs> and I have this um, slightly deeper pink. I'm going to see if I can kind of run it across here. You see what I did? Just, just a little layer. And now I'm going to go to the red. Okay, whoops, it's not like a, anyways, I just used up all my red. <laughs> Get them, okay. So, I think I'm going to go to purple now. This is very runny, I don't know if you could hear that. Very runny. I have another purple here too, I'm going to, let me see. I have a thicker one I'm going to use, I think, also. We'll see how that one goes in there. If it's okay, then I won't worry about it too much, can you? Maybe I should angle this up a little higher for you guys. <laughs> okay, this one's a little thicker. So I'm going to do... I think I'm gonna do this thicker one across first. See that? And then this thinner one. It's a nicer purple, I think. It's very dark though. It sinks down in there and I don't want to put too much of any one of the colors in, so we got a few more in our little lineup here. Here comes the blue. That purple was way thicker. We definitely don't have any cells coming up, but I think when I put, I'm going to put white on at the end and I'll kind of squirt that in so it heads down in there. Kind of like. You know, since I don't have any cells, I'm just going to give it hardly any cells are popping up. I might not have enough. Ugh, I hate that doing that while I'm in here painting, but sorry, guys. That was a squirt of silicone, if I didn't mention. Now that went down. I'm just going to do it. 
I didn't want to do it this way, but I'm not getting any cells. So right now, because I'm not, there we got a little bit of stuff happening now that I gave it a squirt. Okay. Um, since I have it in these tubes, I'm not sure if I could have poured it all off. I shook them. There we go. Nice coating of yellow. And I'm going to put some orange on. And let's see. Yellow and orange. Now, I'm going to get a nice little healthy squirt of white. I'm going to hold the white up real high so it shoots down into all the colors. There we go. So that's it. That's my cup. It doesn't look like anything too great. I'm wondering if I should add more white. <laughs> Always. You can't really go by the cup, but I don't know why. Do you guys do that? I'm kind of curious. If you're looking at your cup and you're like, the cup looks ugly. Okay. Okay. not too bad so far, is it? I didn't want it all heading that way. I think I'm going to have to recenter my table. Now, um, oh shoot, I could, I'm going to turn my heat gun on so I can hear it running. I'm just going to turn it on and I might give it a little hit here. Um, I kind of like what's going on here. I don't know if I should hit it or not because it's looking like I don't want to do too much to it. Okay. Um, the thing I've been doing lately is when I like something and I don't want to completely lose it, I'm going to do my corners instead of pouring it off, pouring it back, I am going to hit my corners with some paint. And so I'm going to try to hit it with some colors that, like this side's got some yellow. I'm going to try to match a little bit to the corner. And there's a lot of blue and pink right in there, so I think I'll, um, see where this goes. I don't even know if I want to do this. I'll just give it a quick, 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 quick one. I'll move it some more in just a minute, possibly. And then, since I don't know if I have enough red in here, I don't know if I can hit this side with a little red. So we'll just use mm, yellow. I'm sure when I move it some more, I'll just put a little, some little things in here so it doesn't look so out of place. Okay, this corner probably needs pink or teal. Um, I'm going to do it with, uh, do I have a pink and a, yeah. I'm just giving it a shake. Remember, I used two pinks on here, so um, it's kind of... Alright, so now 
I am just going to push in the middle and push it up so it kind of comes out a little evenly. I may tilt it a little bit the different directions, but I really don't want to lose what I have too much, so I'm not going to worry too much about the corners. And I really don't even want to move it too much, to be honest with you. I am going to scoop up a little color to come off on the bottom here. Just trying to give it a little extra color, some of these. So it doesn't look too out of place. You know, you could kind of swipe the corners and make them look. Let's see, make sure I got it. So if you have something you really like and you don't want to lose it, you know, you can always do just what I just did. Just, you know, and so you, dragging it all around. You guys, if you've watched many of my videos, you've watched me lose stuff. <laughs> Pour it right off while I'm talking to you. Actually holding it up, I've lost more by holding it up and trying to show you what I just did. Lift it up and try not to, uh, whoopsie. I might want to push on those little dots in the middle right there. I like them. I like so much about this. That I don't want to really move to lose anything. So I want to, I'm not, there's a lot of paint on this. So um, a lot of times when you've poured a lot of your paint off, I find I will pretty much have the next day what I left. But when there's a lot of paint on it, it could be a few changes by morning. So I'm not sure what, um, you know, I'm not too sure what could happen. But anyways, you guys, this is it. I'm going to try to quit moving it because I'm totally afraid of losing what I got. So I like this one. I might try the same thing again in another video. All right, guys. I really appreciate you stopping by, and if you have any questions or if I can help you with anything, please feel free to let me know. Thank you.